Hi guys, hope you're well. I know, I know, you've probably forgotten what I look like because it's been absolutely forever since I've made a video. I can't even tell you how busy I've been. That's how busy I've been. It's just family life. I decided to go away with my boys and spend a bit of time with my husband and my son down south. So that was really, really nice to have a bit of a break. And also, um, Bookings have been like completely crazy because of wedding season as well, which is brilliant. I absolutely love it, but it's left me with no time to actually make videos, let alone edit them as well. But on top of that, I've been working on projects as well of my own, which I will reveal in the near future, but not quite yet. But another thing that's been happening is that um, if you've seen on my Instagram, Facebook and my Twitter that I've started my journey with uh, Val Garland. So Val Garland's now been mentoring me for the last couple of months and a fair few people around the world as well. So she started her um, school of makeup a couple of months ago and she selected only the elite of elite, like even if that's a term, I don't think elite 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 makeup artist out there and anyone that she actually really believes has true potential to actually make it. And I was completely blown away when I received a message saying that she wants me to be a part of it. So completely honored by that. It's really opened my eyes to what the makeup industry is actually all about. Because when you're part of just like the, the bridal scene sort of thing and just looking at the Asian market, you don't realize how much that actually is out there, but there's so much out there. It's absolutely crazy. And I feel like it will make me one of the best makeup artists that I could ever, ever be. So I'm really, really enjoying that. But again, because of that as well, I'm not getting any time to um, make any videos. And I don't wanna just put a video out there just for the sake of it. You guys deserve better and you need to have a good quality video. So I thought to myself, if I'm gonna make a video, I'll make a video about when I went down to London to IMAX 2015. Now that happened this weekend. So I went on the Saturday because I was busy on the other days as well. So I went down with my friend and we um, kind of went a bit crazy with the shopping. I want to start off with giving a few shout outs. So um, I want to give a massive shout out to my Van Garland girls, which are my classmates and they are Tuba, Luxie and Zizi. I hope you guys are watching this absolutely loved meeting up with you guys you were so funny especially tuba with her brush gasm honestly girl you just creased me up with that i want to say thank you to the girls because it was so nice to actually arrange this to meet up and see some of my classmates and just discuss makeup and just being a makeup artist and just you know just the love of makeup as well so that was really really nice it was so good seeing my girl Zukria she's looking absolutely amazing and her stand looked stunning as well and Mama Million and Sana aka Look A Million it was so good seeing them again got the biggest hugs ever from them and they're just stunning stunning people and Nabila as well lovely meeting you for the first time and you're just as gorgeous in real life as you are on your pictures as well. And also it was really, really good to meet um, Abid, which is um, absolute artistry. And if you haven't seen him, you've got to find him on Instagram. He, his eye makeup and his looks are absolutely stunning. And he just said to me, I recognize you from somewhere. And I was like, yes, you do. Cause it was the whole L'Oreal thing as well. And we just chatted and it was just so nice. Everyone was so, so nice. And also, last but not least, a massive shout out to all you people that came up to me to say that you follow me on Instagram or you watch my videos. You actually made my day. My friend Regina would vouch for that because I was like, I couldn't believe that people are actually watching my videos. I know it's really strange, but I was completely humbled that you came up to me and say to me that I'm doing a fantastic job and actually took selfies with me. So do tag me on them. I'd love to see them. I'd love to keep in touch with you guys as well. It's so nice to know that you guys are watching my videos and enjoying them. I feel like you can actually approach me and talk to me as well. So if you ever do see me again, do come up to me to say hi. I love seeing you guys. 
Now, without further ado, I'm going to show you everything, everything I bought at IMAX. Now, not any ordinary person would buy this much, but me, considering I haven't bought anything this year, not really. So, <laughs> I thought to myself, if I'm going to splurge, I'm going to splurge out good. So, I'm going to show you all the things that I bought at IMAX 2015 in London. The first counter I went to was Makeup Forever. Now every time I go to IMAX, well I say every time, I've only been twice, but the last time I went to IMAX it was absolutely chocker. I didn't even get a look in. I didn't even look at the stand because it was so crazy. So I made a must plan and I said right, I'm gonna go to the Makeup Forever stand first. So I went to the stand and they gave me a lovely little booklet which has got all the little products and like accessories and everything that they do so I'll have a good flick through that. So the main thing that I went to the counter for was to try out the HD foundation because I've heard so much about it but I've never tried it so got colour match so I can't wait to actually try this foundation. I've heard so so much about it. The rest of the stuff that I bought I didn't really even have my eye on it but I kind of did know about them. So the next thing I ended up buying was the Pro Bronzer Fusion and I'm just going to see if I can open it. So that's what it looks like there and if I open it, it's that sort of a colour. So I wanted something that's going to warm up your face without making you look orange and it just gives you this beautiful glow. So without making you looking too, too matte, I just thought this would probably be a great product to try. If I'm going to get stuff out, I might as well just quickly show you what the HD foundation look like. So that's what the bottle actually looks like. And it's got a pump to it, which is great. So it's quite hygienic and easy to use. So I can't wait to try that as well. This is a base primer, but it's a mattifying one. So I do love my mattifying primers, especially for clients that actually do have really, really oily skin and just it just doesn't sit well and the fact that this is HD I'm gonna well try it out and see how it goes. One thing I did have my eye on was the what was it the Makeup Forever Aqua Black Waterproof Gel Liner. Now anyone who knows me I'm the gel liner freak. I love gel liner and I've heard so much about this one and how good it is and the fact it's waterproof just sold me completely, so can't wait to try that one out. These, um, what are they? The Aquamatics, the Aquamatic pens. Now they're kind of like um, cream eyeshadows, but in pens sort of thing, but you can use them as eye bases and they go on really well. So I got a black just to create a smoky eye, a nude color as well. And this one, now you can't see it that well, but it's got, it's kind of like a gunmetal colour with like silver gold particles in it. So yeah, that should be really, really nice to put on and give you that really sultry sort of eye makeup look. I thought I'd try out the brightening powder. So I've got the lavender to like sort out um, shallow skin tones, the green to sort out redness and the pink to brighten and the white is just a translucent sort of powder just for setting and this is actually quite good because otherwise I'd actually have to get the bigger one so at least I can try them out and see how they go. One thing I did want to get and I got an absolute bargain was the uh, Make Forever Flash Colour um, palette. Now this is so expensive but it was so cheap at the like at the show so I decided I'm going to finally get this. I've been umming and ahhing about getting this for years now but it's so versatile and multi-purpose that I just thought I have to have a part of my kit because I don't just do bridal stuff and I can use this for my bridal and for my clients as well but I can use it for my creative stuff as well and it is an investment so I can't wait to use that. And the lovely gentleman, I like to say he was French at the counter who couldn't pronounce my name and I think he felt sorry for me that he couldn't pronounce my name but um, yeah I think he thought yeah she spent quite a bit let's give her a freebie so <laughs> he gave me this um, 
water, this aqua eyes um, pencil. So it's kind of like a greeny bluey sort of color. So yeah, I'll give that a whirl as well. The next counter I went to was the Mac counter because that's another one that just becomes absolutely crazy and you just can't do nothing. So I wanted to renew my um, Mac discount card. So I got it pretty cheap as well, which is absolutely amazing. I'm a bit gutted that it wasn't free, considering that when I went two years ago, they were giving it away for free, but I already had a card then, so a bit gutted about that, but never mind, at least I still got it at a discount. So a couple of the things that I got from there were just um, things that I needed to uh, replenish in my kit, which was my all-time favorite fix plus spray i use this for absolutely everything from priming the skin to fixing to intensifying the eyeshadow and everything like that so absolutely love that and also another thing that i replenished was um the prep and prime natural radiance which is a yellow base one and i use this to prime skin especially for asian skin tones because um a lot of us are yellow skin are, we've got yellow undertones as well so this is really really good for that and it's really lightweight as well so you don't feel like you're caked on with so much primer now the rest of this is stuff that I kind of really really wanted but I couldn't get my hands on as well which is the face and body by MAC and I got two colours now which colours did I get I got um, C5 and C6 the reason why I got C5 is so I can try it out on my oh that's c5 that's not c5 c5 on my face and just see what it's like because i've heard so much about it and the amount of people that are saying that this one's good and it's amazing because well to be honest i've lost my love for mac foundations just because i've tried nearly all of them now and i don't know what's happening but they're just not working for me but the face and body is supposed to be really promising and the reason why I got a darker one is a I can mix I can mix this up and use it on other people to go lighter or darker as well. Well, more darker really, and also this matches. Well, this will actually make my legs look like they're part of the rest of my body because trust me, this is brown, but my legs aren't brown. So it's just nice to have something that'll actually um, cover my legs as well as. Um, not run and just stay put until I wash it off or clean it off as well. So yep, gonna love trying them out. And also another thing that I really wanted again was this brush. Now, can you see it there? MAC 286 fluffy brush. It's like a dual fiber brush and I absolutely love this brush for like blending eyeshadows as well. It's just beautiful, just so easy to blend the eyeshadows with and also if you're using it to like blend any concealer underneath your eyes, it's so good for that. Now another thing that I really really want to get a hold of, which is taking me absolute ages to get, is Velvet Teddy. Oh my god, this beauty has been sold out absolutely everywhere. So the fact that they actually had one, I was like, give it to me now. I really, really want it. It's such a beautiful nude lipstick and it's matte, which is great. And also a lipstick that I ran out of, which is um, Angel, which I decided I I needed to actually replenish in my kit again. The next counter I went to was Bobbi Brown, absolutely love Bobbi Brown. Honestly, the products are absolutely amazing, but I was really, really cautious. I decided that I'm only gonna do two things. One, which is renew my pro card, and two was just to replenish my kit. So the only things I needed to do was replenish some of the colors in my cream foundation palette, which is the BBU palette. And the colors that I needed to replenish were honey, warm natural and natural tan. So they're just foundation sticks. I'll just quickly show you what they look like. So they're just like that and I can just take off whatever I need and just put that into my kit and just keep that and that'll last me for absolute ages. Next, I went to see my girl Zucria at the Artist of Makeup counter and she's got these little bags now which are so handy just because I thought to myself like, I don't really wanna lose these beauties because they're absolutely amazing. Now, 
You guys know the last time I went to IMAX was the first time that Zucria was actually presenting all her stuff there and since then she's come leaps and bounds and it looks absolutely amazing. The stand looked phenomenal. If you want to go onto my Instagram you'll see some of the pictures from there and she looked absolutely stunning with her little baby bump and looking so petite and cute as per usual and yeah I don't know how she was walking around with heels but Girl, you, you know how to rock it, honestly, you're so good. But anyway, I decided to add to my highlight and contour um, stick that I got from um, the last show was the highlight stick in medium. Now, if you can see there, it's kind of like a yellow tone. Now, with the yellow tone one, especially on Asian skin tones, it'll make it look brighter um, and it'll actually work well with our skin tone as well so I really thought this would be really interesting to try out and see how it goes and let you guys know how that is. Another thing I had my eye on that I've heard so much about is the Artist of Makeup Extreme Art Liner Pen. Now I'll just do a quick demo on this because I was saying to my friend Regina when we were like on the stand I said this pen I've heard that once it's on it doesn't come off. So just draw a line on my hand like so like that and I'll give it a couple of like minutes just to dry and you can try it and put it under water and stuff it just won't come off and it gives you the most finest of lines oh my god I haven't even shown you the pen silly old me anyway that's the pen and that's what it looks like and you get like I think you get cartridges don't you to put inside it says like like a fountain pen really yep so like that and close that and another thing I decided to buy was the foundation now because Zucria was like oh you must have a lot of the kits and I said do you know what I really don't have any of the foundation so I thought I'll get colour matched and get one of the foundations so this is the Flawless Coverage HD Cream Foundation in number 35 now there was one or two colours that were near me, but I thought I'd go for something that's slightly warmer. So I'll try that out and let you guys know how that is. And I'm rubbing this now. Yeah, it's not moving, it's not moving. I think I need to actually work the pen a bit more for it to be a bit darker, but it was really dark on Regina's hand. So looking forward to seeing how that works out. The next counter I went to was Cryolon. Now, I absolutely love Cryolon. A lot of you know that just because I use it on a lot of my brides as well. And I have ordered some foundations like refills because they didn't have them there. So that will be coming soon. But that's something that would be added to this list of stuff that I bought. But um, I actually joined their pro membership as well, which was great because considering I buy so much, it'd be great to be part of their pro membership. And then they gave me a lovely makeup artist international sort of magazine. So I can't wait to flip through that. And this is another, I think it's like a catalog magazine as well. So can't wait to have a look through that as well. And also, I got these beautiful sort of pigments. They're called Glamour Sparks. Right, I got these in green, gold, copper, and I was supposed to get one in silver, but she's given me two coppers, so don't worry, I'll ring up and sort that out. These are so pigmented, they're absolutely amazing, so I can't wait to try these out as well. And they gave me a little, um, lipstick matte palette thing just to test out so can't wait to test these colours out because I do love the Crowland colours because they do stay on your lips. Next I went on to a crown brushes and I decided to stock up on some of the brushes because as a makeup artist you can't get enough brushes so I won't bore you with them all just yet but these are all the sort of brushes oh I dropped one <laughs> these are the sort of brushes that I got and um, yeah I'll just do a review on them once I tried them out and see how they are as well. Next I went to the Beauty So Clean counter and I got the Wipeout Brush Cleaner. Now this is one of the newer pro products that they've got and I've tried out the other products as well. The last brush cleaner that I got I wasn't too pleased with. Everything else in the range I absolutely love but I've seen 
demo videos of this and it's absolutely amazing how quickly it cleans the brushes so I couldn't wait to get this and try it out. Next I went to the Eldora counter and these are handmade lashes in the number M102 and they're kind of like I don't know, they're double layered, but they're really quite soft. So I just want to try them out. I've never tried these out before. I know they've contacted me in the past about um, like a pro scheme before, but I've never really gone ahead and like tried them out and stuff. So seeing them, I just thought to myself like these are really quite nice. So I'll try them out and see how they go and let you guys know. Another counter I went to was the screen face one and they didn't have much there that I really wanted to get. I think they just bought certain amounts of like stock there. So the only thing that they had there that I really had my eye on was the Z palette or the Z palette, but this is the double ended one. So it's actually got it on this side as well as here. So I thought this would be great for when I depart the rest of my blushes as well. So they're in one place. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to actually doing this because I haven't depotted anything for a while. So this should be good. And then I don't have a bag for this one, but this was actually purchased at, um, I think it's Guru Makeup Emporium. Yes, I think that's what it is. I wanted to actually get beauty blenders from there because they actually had the beauty blender there for about £10 each. But by the time I got there and I decided to go and buy it, they were sold out, so a bit gutted about that. But I wanted to get one of these empty palettes. Now, I've bought one of these before from, I think from Pam London before. And I put some of my concealers in there, the cream concealers that I've got and correctors. And I thought, because I've got so many eyeshadow bases, this would be really, really good to actually put them into so I can carry them around because I don't want to carry on, carry around 15 different pots with me. I'd rather have them in one place. They ran out of the bag, so I can't show you the bag, but the bag was absolutely amazing. Just imagine the Urban Decay counter with the purples and stuff. That's exactly what the bag looked like. But anyway, my next purchases were from Urban Decay. And all I really purchased was Half Baked and Naked Eyeshadow. Now I'm more or less running out of these two, but these are my go-to eyeshadows. I absolutely love them. So they had to remain in my kit, even though they're running out in my Naked palette as well. So yeah, I bought them, but also my love affair for um, the 24-7 uh, Glide On Perversion Pencil is just like, beyond a joke now because I absolutely love love that pencil but they didn't have it where it was just a full size pencil they only had it as a double ended so I just thought I'd go for it and it comes with this other um end which is pistol and uh, that's kind of like a grey brownie sort of colour and I think it was launched when the Naked 2 palette was launched because it says Naked 2 on it. Next I went to the Love Makeup counter and it was crazy busy in that place and I really wish I went there before because they had the little palette that I bought from Guru Makeup Emporium there for like a pound or so cheaper but hey ho you just you just learn don't you but anyway the only thing I really bought from there was these Zoeva brushes so you can see them there let me just do that there because I absolutely love Zoeva brushes and they were so, so cheap at the show. So I couldn't just walk past and not buy them. And again, as I said, makeup artists need loads and loads of brushes. Another thing I did was go to the Zuka counter and purchase some more pouches from there. And I think they had them for two for £15 or something like that. And yeah, I absolutely love my Zuka. I bought it when I went to IMAX last time, as you know, and I need more pouches to go inside it. So yeah, but I had to buy these as well. Zuka came with me again this time to IMAX and it was great because I could put absolutely everything in it. The Lamac Pro um, counter and I bought this little set there. So I got the infamous makeup mixer which I can't wait to use because Val has told us so much about it. The ultimate makeup remover, the ultimate cleansing milk and the ultimate brush cleaner. I've never used any of these products before, but you don't know 
what a product's like unless you try it out. So I can't wait to try these out. Last but not least, I went to the Royal and Langnickel brush counter. And as per usual, I've bought a whole load of brushes from there just because they are very, very affordable. So these are all the brushes that I bought. I think you can see them all. Yeah, just about there. Some are for myself, some are for the kit, and some are for my mother-in-law because she does like these brushes for like her foundation and stuff. And yeah, so those are the brushes I got. And that was it. I know, very long video, I know, but I thought I'd just show it all to you and over the coming few weeks or so I'll be trying them out and when I'm happy with them that I've tried them out enough I'll be giving you guys a review on all the products as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video do leave your comments below if there's anything that I've bought that you've tried out that you think is absolutely amazing or if you've got any questions about any of the stuff that I've bought as well do leave your comments below if you haven't subscribed you know what I'm going to say, please do subscribe to my channel and do share this video with your friends and family. And until next time guys, I'll see you later. Bye!